Now that we're getting more comfortable using our trig manipulatives, let's look at some of their properties. The shapes of the manipulatives are made in such a way that pieces can go together. For instance, this one can go on top of this sign to form the same shape as this cosecant. If we flip this over, we see that it is indeed 1 over sine. Notice too that the 1 is in blue and the sine is yellow, so our cosecant is green. The 1 can also be flipped over to go on top of cosine, making the same shape as secant. Still notice that since 1 is blue and cosine is red, secant is purple. Then sine and cosine can go on top of each other to form the same shape as tangent. We flip this over and see that that is true. We can also reverse their order and have cosine over sine, which then makes the same shape as cotangent. Also, we have these longer shapes, which are cosine squared and sine squared. If you put together two cosines or two sines, you see that they create the same shape. If you flip over the squares, you can see that they are made up by multiplying two cosines or two sines. So the last problem that we're going to do is cotangent squared divided by cosecant, which is going to equal cosecant minus sine. Now, fractions are a lot messier to work with than things written on one line. So although they both have two pieces, the right-hand side is much simpler to work with. The first thing we need to do is, of course, break things down. If we flip over cotangent squared, we have cotangent times cotangent. So let's bring those up. Cosecant, we remember, is 1 over sine. We're going to flip these so that those go together. Now we have cosine times cosine over sine times sine. Because these are two fractions being multiplied by each other, we just multiply their numerators and their denominators. So we have cosine times cosine over sine times sine. Here we have two fractions being divided by each other. In order to create just one fraction, we need to multiply the fraction in the numerator by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. So we will leave our cosines and sines here, and we will bring up this bottom fraction. We will flip them over. So instead of 1 over sine, we have sine over 1. Now we can perform this multiplication. Cosine times cosine times sine, sine times sine times 1. We can get rid of the 1. Now we want to flip this over and we see that we have cosine squared because we know that that's cosine times cosine. We could flip over this to see that we have sine squared. However, since I see one sine in the numerator, I'm actually going to replace this with my two individual sine manipulatives. Now I have just a sine in the numerator and a sine in the denominator, so I can go ahead and cancel those out. Now we have cosine over sine. You might think about keeping this and breaking it up into cosine over sine times cosine. But remember, the ending that we want to go to is cosecant minus sine. Cosine squared. Oh, that's 1 minus sine squared. So we'll bring this back up. And we need a 1. And we need a subtraction sign. Now we have 1 minus sine squared all over sine. The nice thing about this is that now this only deals in sines. There's no more cosines in here. We want to break this up into two fractions. So the way you do that is you break it apart where the subtraction sign is, but make sure that both of them stay over the same denominator. So we want 1 over sine minus sine squared over sine. 1 over sine. That's a familiar shape to us. And we know that blue and yellow are green, so we're going to go ahead and grab our cosecant. Okay, we want to bring down our subtraction sign. And now we're going to have sine squared, which if we flip this over is sine times sine, divided by sine. 
we know that we can just pull a sign out of both the denominator and the numerator, so we will just be left with sine. So we end up with cosecant minus sine. Doesn't that look better? For more information on using these manipulatives and other trig identities, inclu including proofs of all of them, please go to http colon double slash filebox.vt.edu slash users slash vpar slash math4644 slash trigidentities.html. What? Go to http colon double slash filebox.vt.edu slash users slash vpar slash math4644 slash trigidentities dot html